How are you, Mrs. Hayes? Fine, Mr. Fish, thank you. We'll have a table. Good. Let me take your packages. You're very kind. Oh, beautiful. Thank you very much. Uh, we try to do our best. Happy Bar Mitzvah, Sheldon Caxton Bar. Today, I am a man. Oh, congratulations, Herman. Thank oh, you. I just love the tradition, celebrating coming of age. You know, it's a little like what we call confirmation. Get away from there. I wasn't going to put a bomb in it. Who knows what you're going to do? I'll tell you this much, you're no Sheldon Kastenbaum. Why ain't I a Sheldon Kastenbaum? Are you kidding? You're both the same age, aren't you? You're both 13. That I can't help. So is Karen. You're still in the seventh grade, and Sheldon's in his second year of high school. That's item one. Items two, three, four, and five, I wouldn't waste my breath on. Oh, I'm stupid. Listen, I'm not as stupid as I used to be. Ask me a question. What's the capital of Idaho? Boise. Spell meretricious. What? Meretricious. For that, you can call up Sheldon Kastenbaugh. When I'm hungry, my sister shouldn't ask me such foreign words. So? If you got business in here, all right. Otherwise, I had trouble enough with you before. You heard me? I'll take two jelly donuts. Here's your dime. Hi. Do you have to? He's a friend of mine. Who is he? Teddy O'Hara, of course. He's been thrown out of school four times. So it's logical he'd be a friend of little boy Blue here. Lay off. He's not the worst guy in the world. Him and Gabe Gollop are the two best he, fighters. He and Gabe Gollop, Billy. Now, what were you going to say? Nothing. Just that we're friends. His mother's dead, and his old man's real mean. I like Teddy, that's all. And it's no affair of hers. Teddy don't have many friends. Heaven help that poor boy in a wretched little sweater on a night like this. You've been using that phone again, ain't you? Who said I was? I said you was. And I heard you putting it down, too. Calling Brooklyn again, huh? Talking to your sweet Aunt Agnes, huh? Well, is she gonna pay the telephone bill? How many lies you tell her this time? What did you dream up today, huh? Christmas, maybe, huh? Did your sweet Annie tell you what she was gonna give me for Christmas, did she? No, I'll bet she didn't. Well, you tell her that I don't need her at all, see? That we don't need her. She never did like me anyway. And you think she likes you? Well, let me tell you something about your sweet Aunt Agnes. Let me tell you something about her. She's just too high and mighty, that's Don't. all. Don't! Everything you say about her is a dirty, rotten lie. A liar, am I? You're gonna stand there and call your pa a liar, are you? Well, I'm gonna give you something you'll never forget as long as you live! All right, Buster boy. I'll take care of you tomorrow. I gotta go to work. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Teddy. Isn't it late for you to be phoning? Did you do your homework? Homework, I said. Oh, yeah, homework, sure. Did all my homework. Was in the library three hours. That's right. What? I said you don't even know where the library is. Now, don't just try to make me feel good. 
You and I have been friends for a long time, and if you finished all your homework, it would be the first time it ever happened, now wouldn't it? And wouldn't it be better if you and I were honest with each other? That's better, Teddy. Now let's talk about something more pleasant. Well, uh, Christmas, for instance. Oh, that's a secret. No, I'm not going to tell. I I'll see you then. Well, of course. Good night, Teddy. Pretty good. What are you, the Perry Como type or the Elvis Presley type? The Como type. Why? You want to make some of it? Nothing, nothing. Say, where was Teddy today? You know, he sings real good. Didn't you hear? The guy's in trouble. And I mean trouble. He stole a cake. So what's a cake? Who couldn't steal a cake? That's nothing for Teddy. Stealing a measly cake? Say, was it a bar mitzvah cake? How do you know? Never mind how I know. Was it a bar mitzvah cake? A great big one. Yeah, that does it. What's the matter? I'm telling you, Charlie, I'm telling you, you should have seen that cake. The cops are after him this time. Not his father. Cops. The guy that owns the bakery's got a warrant out for his arrest. Quiet, please. Idle talk will gain you nothing, and scandal will get you nowhere. Now look to your own sin, Thaddeus Foley. Boys, class has been dismissed, so please go quietly. Bye, sir. Oh, Bye, sir. Uh, Edwin Gassmiller and uh, Billy Hayes, would you be kind enough to remain a moment? I um, have been to see Monsignor Donnell, and I had a chance to talk to him about that surprise I spoke to you about. Edwin Gassmiller, you and your partner here have been chosen to sing with the choir on Christmas Eve at Midnight Mass. Well, is that a surprise? Yes, sister. Well, how about you, Billy? Is there something the matter? Um, I have to go to my grandmother's that night. On Christmas Eve? On Christmas Eve? Really, Billy? No, sister. That's better, isn't it? You're going to look very nice in your bright red cassock with the Buster Brown collar, if that's what you're worried about. Just like a little cardinal. Well, now, boys, you may go, and thank you for singing so nicely. Do I have to wear the Buster Brown collar? Billy, to please our Lord, we all have to do things sometimes that we don't like to do. Oh, Billy, just one more thing. You're a pretty good friend of Teddy O'Hara's, aren't you? Well, I'm worried about him, too. You pray for him, Billy. 
Me? Yes, you. You were in just as much trouble once and with much less excuse. Remember? What did they say about Teddy? Oh, what didn't they say? The cops are after him. The guy from juvenile court, he's after him. Rabbi Gernson, even. And Fisher's baker, that guy Herman. You should see him. Murder's what he wants. I know, it's awful. I wonder how Teddy could have stole the cake that big. I mean, how could he get away with it? They say he just walked in and picked it up. When everybody's in back of the store and there's just one customer, he's eating a strudel and he thinks that Teddy is working for fish when he picks up the cake. Next thing, no cake, no Teddy. They'll catch him. They'll kill him. I can feel it, Gabe, honest. You think so, huh? He shouldn't have robbed Sheldon's cake. It's not as if it was just a cake, but he ruined a whole bar mitzvah. I know. What do you think they'll do when they catch him? They'll kill him. Just like you say, they'll kill him first, then they'll send him to reform school. I'm right? It's real awful. I wish there was something we could do. Say, can you get away tonight? I don't know. I think I have to help my father at the store. I'll ask. Well, let's meet here at Fisher's tonight, okay? All right. Hmm. God rest you, Mary, gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ, our Savior. You can't, huh? You just can't come. We're too busy. My father would spin me like a bagel. He just gave me 20 minutes to come over here and get a bite to eat. Then I gotta get back to the store. If you hear anything more about Teddy, let me know. Yeah, okay. Hello, Rabbi. I'm glad you got here. Hey, here's Rabbi Gerson. He sees me. He probably wants to know why I'm friends with the guy that ruined Sheldon's bar mitzvah. You see, what happened is that the, the cake... I'm getting out of here. What do you know? Nothing much. I just left Gabe eating the fishies. Rabbi Gerson was there. I didn't want to hang around. There. Take the rest of them. Take some yourself. He's hungry anyhow. Come on, who you kidding? You're okay, Billy. Hey, I got an idea. Come on. What makes you think your mother won't be back right away? I told you, she went Christmas shopping. Besides, if she came back, she wouldn't even snitch. Yeah, I guess she's like my Aunt Agnes. You got an aunt? Yeah. You never told me about her. She lives in Brooklyn. She's always lived in Brooklyn. Teddy. 
Teddy. Yeah? Why just steal the cake? Never mind. I, I took it, that's all. You couldn't eat a cake like that. Nobody in the whole world could eat it. Why'd you really steal the cake? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. You promise not to laugh? I swear, strike me dead on the floor. It was so beautiful, that's all. I figured I could change the writing on top of the cake and stash it in the furnace room of the bowling alleys. That's where I slept last night. But why would you want to stash a cake like that away? So I could give it to my aunt. For Christmas, you mean? Give her a bar mitzvah cake. I love her. My old man is a... Teddy! I don't care what I say. That's a sin. Your own father, Ted. I was going to take the cake to Brooklyn because my old man, he don't even let my aunt come near the house. One time when I was a little kid, she gave me some trains. He busted them. He hates her because she's high class like... like your old lady. Then last night, couldn't bring her the cake. Why not? Because I dropped it on the furnace room of the bowling alley. I dropped it on the floor. I see what you mean. Listen, I gotta get out of here. There's no use trying to tell me your old lady won't be sore. And... So long, Billy. And thanks for the food. So long, and take it easy. Jesus, Lord, help Teddy O'Hara. He's braver than anybody, but he needs your help. I promised to wear that Buster Brown collar and, and that dopey red tie and never to complain about it once. No matter if you help me or not, Please, Jesus. Please. Amen. Now, attention, boys. This is our last chance to practice before Mass tonight. Now, I don't want you charging into the church like a pack of cavalry. Is that understood? Um, Stevie, I think it's better if you change here. They caught Teddy, all right. He's in the office right now. Monsignor Donald's there, and Rabbi Gerson, even. You hear me, Bill? Yeah, I hear you. Mr. Fish is there with Herman the Baker. How do you like that? I said attention, please. Now, let's try to mind our own affairs. Uh, Billy Hayes, will you take your place alongside of Edwin Gatzmiller, please? Come on. Come in. Oh, so it's you. Yes, Monsignor. And what brought you in here? Well, I wanted to talk to you about something. Anything that suits a Benedict or... Rabbi Gerson can't hear? Or, uh, Mr. Cronin from the children's court? You ever see this fellow before? Oh, yes, I know this one. We spotted O'Hara leaving his house last night and followed him from there to the bowling alleys. Oh. So you harbor criminals, too? Well, it wasn't like that, no. Oh, what was it like then? You tell us. Well, um... Teddy was cold, and, and he was hungry, and I gave him some chestnuts, and I took him home with me. He was, he was so, you gotta help you, Monsignor, because nobody else is gonna. Governor, let's not break down. Did you know that your friend was 
hiding in the furnished room of the bowling alleys? Yes, Monsignor. I see. Yet you made no attempt to tell the proper authorities, did you, son? No, Monsignor. All right. Here we go now. Wait a moment. Tell me, son, what do you know that's good about this O'Hara? Isn't there anything good about him? He's braver than anybody I know. He loves his aunt. Now that was good. It's almost midnight and in just a few moments we're going to be marching into church. Now I don't... Oh, Billy. There. I really wish I had a picture to give your mother. So my sister could show it all over the neighborhood. Hey, Billy, what you get for Christmas? I don't know if things I guess I'll do all right. I keep thinking about Teddy. Yeah, I know. Who don't? Now, we're just about ready to go, boys. And there's only one more thing. I... Oh, good evening, Monsignor, and a very happy Christmas to you. The same to you, sister. A fine pack of angels you've got here, sister. Well, you've got my sympathy. I was wondering if you couldn't use a first-rate Irish tenor. Could you now? Because... Well, I... Uh... I tried him out myself. We'd be very happy to. I'll build the first guy that makes a crack. I'm going to live with my aunt in Brooklyn. <laughs> 